Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to have a look at something that just came into the store uh, about a week ago, more or less. Um, and we're going to show you what it is. Now we at the store, we bring in a whole lot of different sort of products. We bring in uh, the Gamers Grass, we bring in the Army Painter stuff. And when uh, we found out about this new product, uh, you know, we brought in the, the whole range and, uh, well, I want to just show you what it is. By the way, um, one of the games is not paying me for this review. I just want to show it to you because, you know, it also helps me show, you know, folks, you know, what is in it. Because usually when a new basic product comes in, and it's very difficult to get the word out there or what it is. And uh, they end up coming to the store and then, oh, oh what is this? Uh, you know, stuff like that. And I'd, I'd rather just show it to you. So what it is, is uh, basically, Wallet Games has just released this thing called uh, um, Scenics. So Wallet Games Scenics. And they've, 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 had a, they've had a huge range of different kinds of stuff. Everything from, uh, you know, foliage to uh, static grass to little bits, you know, for your, for your bases as well. And we'll look through what I've got. I, di I didn't get the, I didn't get the whole range. I just got just some, and I'll just show to you what, show you what they are. Um, what I really liked about this is the I think I think the the words they use. You know, sometimes you know we in the hobbying industry tend to be you know uh, very concerned about you know you know trying to get the technicals right that we we don't get you know the simple words. I mean, for me right, as a store owner, it's easy for me to sell something when you know the words just there. For some reason, just pick it up. Ah, oh, that's what it is. And like uh, stuff like this, or spring undergrowth, it's great. So you know, you, you know, if you're, if you're building, you know, a forest that's you know, um, that's gonna be based with a, a spring theme, just just pick them up, you know. Um, and also, um, I think um, the uh, the variety is there. There's some variety. Uh, I want to say that uh, the Wallet Games products, the basing stuff, look like they all more or less. Uh, catered to the historical war gamer, the uh the the study grass and the foliage are all uh season based, and uh even the uh you know the little bits of uh, add on look like uh you know real world rubble, everything from a uh, rubble to like stones and and and, and pebbles. But yeah, let's uh, let's let's have a look at what they've got. Right, so let's have a look at the uh, basing set one by one. And this one's the uh, summer undergrowth uh, clump foliage. And this is the spring undergrowth clump foliage. And as you can see from the back, um, it's just different shades of green. So the thing is, it's kind of neat because most of the, uh, most of the uh, basing sets are set to different seasons. So if you're, if you're building a diorama or you're, you're basing your figures and you, want, and you want to know a particular type of um, you know, grass or foliage that you want to use, it they, they make it kind of simple. They just use like summer undergrowth clump foliage and spring. So you know you can choose which one to go for. And let's have a look at this. As you can see, yep, yeah, it's 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 foliage. You know what can you say? It's foliage. And then we've got let me see now. We we have the uh, building rubble, which I thought was kind of nice. This one is 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 a mix of different colors. As you can see, it's different sizes. Uh, this one you can put at the, at the at the bottom of your uh you know ruined buildings either you know the ones that you perhaps you got from the uh, your foreground uh, ruin set or perhaps you know one some even the warlord games uh ruin ruin set of uh, of um of uh kits you can actually put this at the base you know for that added like you know uh you know vibe of like you know it being ruined different colors you know it's kind of, it's kind of neat. very very nice very very nice and then we have we have the um large cork chips and the small cork chips um or fine cork chips it's because it's just different chips a cork this is for, again for your basing if you're up for um doing some basings and you want you want you want you know what looks perhaps like um untextured ground for this i have a, a slightly more uh built up ground you can use this but cork of course you can actually get this you can actually make your own cork you know get some Get some cork and break it up, but uh, you know, got this. You know, Wallet Games has Wallet Scenics have actually put this into a nice, nice little container. And then let's look at this. We have the uh, forest ground cover. This is kind of nice. I used to get my forest ground cover from a uh, screw weapon, but now you can get it from here as well. This is kind of neat. I mean, especially neat for for dioramas. I think if you're a diorama fan, this this would work for you. Alternatively, of course, you can actually head out to your uh, 
uh, local garden and like you know pull out you know all this dried stuff and make some yourself or you can actually like use you know old like uh, tea leaves but you know uh, battlefields and basics actually have a container of this for you try to handle it as I put it that very nice you can actually use herbs uh, a long time ago we used to use herbs for for basic yeah I mean I mean it made the bases smile quite well but uh, yeah very very nice then uh, let's look at this. This is the uh, different gradients of sand, I guess. Uh, so you have the um, you have the desert sand. You have the um, you know fine model sand, and then you have the uh, rocky sand. So let's have a look at what what it means here. This is the different consistencies, a different color actually. You got there's a bit of a different color thing happening, but you know it's all different consistencies depending on what you want to go for. I suppose you know if you're if you're building a uh, a desert, you know, table, a mixture of a mixture of all of these just makes sense, you know, um, because you know where the rocks are, I can actually put where the rocky sand is, um, and then uh, the fine sand and the desert sand to to build it. I I actually based my um my desert rats video videos up here uh using uh desert sand as uh, if you want to see how it looks like. So yeah, they get the different grades of sand as you can see, looks quite nice. A uh, different mixture, variety is always great. Uh, let's see what else, what else we got here. We have the battlefields basings. Uh, these are the lichens, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, usually, for for those of you who've been gaming for quite a while, this is familiar to you. So familiar. This is the uh, the typical toss uh, terrain or uh, you know scatter terrain that you put on your table. And this is the light green one, and you have the uh, uh, the brown brown lichen, and you, got, you have the um, black lichen and um, dark green lichen. so you can, you can actually look at the different different colors you know different mixes of lichen uh depending on what you want to do again you know if you if you if you're building a a table and you're going for a, a certain kind of look or a certain kind of season you know this this actually makes it easier you know calling it what it is uh using very simple you know look it brown lichen you know what else is there to say it's brown lichen and then moving along, we have the, um, let's see, here's the uh, large gray stones, and we have the basic stones. Let's see what they are. Large chips over there, as you can see. Very nice. This is this, this once you put onto your base, and then later you mix up with either some of this sand, or maybe, you know, some of the, uh, you know, the, you know, grass, you know, that you want to, you know, just add on. Um, and this is a much smaller uh large gray stones i guess again to to add on add on to your base again you can actually go off to uh your roadside you know uh, i mean pick this up from the road i guess or hit the question side and try to find them but you know or you can just like put an order in with uh warlord games and have a look at the series and then finally we have the uh well almost every company that does this you know uh, basic has some of these um and again as you can see, summer static grass, and you got, you know, dead static grass, and you have uh, winter static grass, and you got autumn static grass, and then, you know, patchy static grass. I think I'm, I'm missing one of these. We have to fix that. But again, you can actually get this anywhere. But it's, it's nice that they've they've actually named it as such. So if you're looking to like build like um, uh, you know, dioramas or your bases according to the different seasons. You can actually pull out, you know, all, of, all of perhaps all the spring stuff, and and use that as your as part of your library, or you can actually like you know, mix and match. But that's pretty much it. That's that's uh, that's pretty much it. that's pretty much all of it. Um, yeah. Battlefields and basings from Warlord Games. Right. So there you have it. That's the uh, battlefields and basing set. Uh, like I said, we don't have all of it. And I'm just hopefully looking at the bottom of the of the container gives you some idea. I mean, if you're a, an experienced modeler, you know none of this would be of you know very very strange to you. In fact, this would be nothing new. I mean, it's basically something that you could have gotten elsewhere just repackaged. But if you're a new guy uh, and um, you know you've you you are not you know in the war gaming scene. Uh, Wall Game seems to be one of the more bigger companies where you know it's easy penetration to get into, easy to Google, easy to look at what they've got. 
Um, so yeah, this could be what you want to look for. Uh, again, I I believe that a lot of this like uh, the basic stuff are for the historical for a historical guy, um, which I think plays into what Warlord Games is all about. Warlord Games is, is is mostly historical, right? So it just makes sense that all of their basic stuff is historical as well. So yeah, um, but you know, you never know. You could try and mix and match and see what you get if you're doing some science fiction. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, Wall of Games is in no way paying me for for just showcase this 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 because this basics to you. I just wanted to put it together because I've I've got, I've got a whole bunch and I reckon you know why not just just give it a, a quick look. So yeah, so that's it. Hope you like the video. If you like me doing this, you know, give me a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments, and uh, don't forget to enjoy playing games.